Hey everyone, this is Mike from HanFam4. Uh, HanFam4 is the name of my eBay store, and I do these um, eBay sales update videos um, every two weeks. Um, so this one's for August 16th through the 31st, 2017, depending on when you're watching it. Just wanted to say thanks for taking the time out, and I'll make it very quick. Um, and what I'll basically do is go over um, items that I've sold on eBay and I'll try to remember exactly what I paid for them and then I'll show you if I took a best offer or not um, so let's get right into it guys um, so let's see here I'm gonna go jump back and forth between the eBay um, sold sold and shipped page and the actual item page just to kinda show you it larger what the item was <clears throat> but uh, first thing uh, was this polycom sound station it's one of those type of things that you'll see in a conference room in a <clears throat> on a conference room table for uh, conference calls um, this was in the box had the original box um, it was in pretty good shape um, I believe we paid like six dollars at a uh, thrift store for this and it sold for full asking price of $69.97 plus they paid shipping so that was pretty awesome this was one of the items that we used to have at the Amazon warehouse and it never sold and I had them ship it back um, and it sold quicker on eBay so you just never know sometimes electronics sell quicker on Amazon sometimes they sell quicker on eBay um, next up this is a shirt, um, Engineer Garments. I had never heard of this uh, brand before, but um, I bought this on eBay. It was in a lot of two. Um, the other one was uh, Grayson's brand, which is a, I believe, a Nordstrom brand um, that Nordstrom carries. And I paid $32 for the two shirts. And this shirt sold for a full asking price of $85. This is a used shirt. Um, it's made in the USA um, nothing really special about it um, it has a few interesting touches um, but I guess there's a cult following on this this brand um, so I was pretty glad to um, you know sell the first shirt for $85 or 80 yeah $85 um, I did include free shipping because it's lightweight so that'll probably only set me back another three or four dollars so um, I thought that was pretty awesome and um, I still have the Grayson's shirt listed they were both plaid shirts just um, similar to this uh, next up uh, you've seen past videos I don't know why the pictures not showing up but I have these greeting cards um, various different ones on the uh, Margaret Keene big eyes um, cards so I'll just kind of jump over these but this is sort of my bread and butter um, I've had a bunch of um, really good um, high dollar sales as well as these little low, lower sales but you know it all adds up so I'll, if I um, come to another one I'll just kind of jump past it just for the sake of time and then this is a um, Chicago Cubs um, jersey Anthony Rizzo number 44 uh, I paid I believe gosh I want to say twelve dollars um, on eBay and then I flipped it for let's see did I get the full um, I flipped it for thirty dollars I took an, a best offer of thirty dollars it was in great shape and uh, so anyways um, and then this is a Filson this is a um, really high-end brand that they sell at the Nordstrom or Nordstrom rack um, I bought this used off eBay and I paid I believe sixty two dollars for it and turned around and sold it for full price of one hundred ninety nine dollars plus shipping um, plus it went global shipping program so they sit they paid a bunch of import fees um, I think they paid right around three hundred dollars when all it was said and done they really wanted this um, it's just bas basically a wool like button up shirt I mean, it can be considered a jacket or a shirt. Um, super warm, um, I guess high quality. Um, the Filson brand is pretty high quality, so that was a home run right there. Um, this is just a VHS that we picked up for probably 50 cents at a garage sale, Batman. Um, 
jump right over that. Um, let's see, I think I paid right around $11 for this. Um, it came with a scanner and some other other electronics. And let's see, I think I took a best offer. Yeah, I took a best, oops, I took a best offer of $60 on this. Um, so, you know, if I divide the two in half, I probably paid, you know, six, uh, I'm sorry, can't even add up today. Uh, 550 um, into $60. So, you know, 10 times your your investment. Um, I'll, do, I'll do that all day long. And basically, this is just a DVD uh, duplicator, replicator, um, where you put a DVD, like a blank one, or like a, a DVD in the top and then a, a blank in the bottom, and it copies it. Let's see. And then um, we bought a bunch of um, women's um, large size clothing and um, this was sort of an experiment and um, we've been selling um, you know various sh uh, tops and pants um, over and over so um, it's worked out to be pretty um, a pretty good experiment and uh, looks like I lost where I was let's see August you can see I'm very behind in on making these videos. Oh, okay, so um, this sold for the full asking price of twenty nine ninety five. Was new with tags, um, oversized, not oversized, but um, plus size um, pants. And then here's another Keen card sold for nine ninety five. Plus they paid shipping. Um, this was just a garage sale pickup. It was a sealed game. Um, new in package and let's see yeah it sold for $18.95 um, free shipping um, okay this is really funny because um, I was our, our gar it was garbage day and the morning of our garbage was like sort of full and basically I had a an, you know an extra load of, of actually recyclables um, I so I didn't have any room in the bin you know I, I tried to fit as much as I could so I went to my neighbor right across the street um, I checked his bin to see if I could if he had room so I can add some some more items to recycle and he had this Oakland Raiders um, box it's an empty box and basically it has like slots for like season ticket holders he's a season ticket holder and he just like discarded this and I thought it was pretty cool because it had like an embossed um, cover and everything and um, had this little guide for um, game day of you know like a map of the stadium and kind of highlights and different things and so I decided I'm gonna list it it's just an empty box I've sold empty boxes before and sold it within a few days for twenty dollars so there you go picked up something that was discarded put it up and profited twenty dollars <laughs> and then this was just another experiment um, I saw this new with tags on eBay I bought it for I believe eleven dollars um, paid a little bit of shipping and I turned around let's see it sat for a little while so I sold I took a best offer of thirty five dollars um, and then they paid shipping so um, it worked out. I mean, I still profited. Um, a lot of times, like if you pick things up and they're selling pretty well on eBay, you can turn around and at least make your money back at a minimum, um, if um, if not more. Um, you know, you can profit off that. So, um, and then I don't even never hear, even heard of this company, but um, <laughs> anyways, I paid a dollar for this at a church sale. And yeah, it sold for full price, 20 bucks uh, plus free shipping. Um, just a plain old Google Google hat. Um, not it just had the little kind of um, adjustable clasp in the back. So anyway, um, that was a nice little flip. And then my da my daughter had this. Um, she had never ended up wearing it, and it was new at tag, so we just threw it up there. And it sold pretty quickly. We took a best offer of eighteen fifty. And then this was a great um, little purchase. Um, this is a vintage Sansui um, receiver, and it had some issues, um, like it needed some cleaning and that type of thing. Excuse me. We have a clock that has like these 
crazy birds that go off every hour. Um, so anyways, I paid $35 for the stereo from an auction and um, it seems to me that vintage stereo receivers, maybe because of the look of them and the simplicity are um, pretty hot sellers nowadays, depending on the model and the brand and everything. But um, let's see, yeah, I took a best offer of $200. Um, I was only asking 230 and they offered 200 and I was like, yes, all day long. And then this is a pair of boots that I picked up at a garage sale for, I believe it was $3. It wasn't more than five, it was like $3. And I took a best offer of $50. Um, I did do free shipping. Um, so that ate up a little bit of money. Um, a lot of times I make a mistake where you create a listing and there's that little checkbox that says um, free shipping and a lot of times it's checked. I don't know why because I hardly ever do free shipping but um, every once in a while it slips past me when I'm kind of in a rush. Um, but anyways, um, you know, a few dollars into 50 minus shipping so you might as well say 40. Um, still, I'm making money, so I'm, I can't complain. And then these were like sort of a narrow, si a narrow size, 10 um, and narrow. So, you know, you got to find the right person that will fit into these. So, <clears throat> anyways, uh, good sale. And then um, I've been buying, um, I bought a few pairs of these loudmouth golf shorts from, from eBay to flip. And this one sold for, yeah, it sold for full price, $50. Um, I just thought it was an interesting pattern. And uh, so that was, you know, a good sale. Um, I believe I paid probably around 10 bucks for these. So 10 into 50, I'll do that all day long. And then I bought a bunch of these um, new iPad cases at, from my company. Um, they're for a specific iPad 2 and iPad 4. Um, and I don't think they have those anymore or provide those to employees anymore so I bought like a probably a good 30 to 40 of them um, and I paid like two dollars and I want to say like 50 cents each and I've been selling them pretty slowly but um, you know I've sold like maybe four so far um, and selling for $24.95 so um, that's pretty awesome and last but not least, um, I picked this item up at a church sale. Actually, it was a Boy Scout um, fundraiser, like garage sale at a church. And I paid like two dollars for these. They were they were used, um, but they were in the original packaging. had had They were complete, um, in good shape. They had somebody's name on them. But I tested them. And funny thing is, I sent. Oh no no no! Here's what happened. I sent these to Amazon and somebody bought them and then they returned them and so basically um, I thought they were brand new but somebody said yeah they're used they have this name on them so anyways um, they ended up selling sending them back to us um, Amazon I believe reimbursed us or something like that so anyways long story short I paid a couple dollars for these and they sold for I took a best offer of thirty dollars so not too bad all in all and uh, that's it for this two week period guys thanks for taking the time to watch this video um, I tried to make it quick but um, let me know if you have any questions um, about any of the items and um, I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye